But just to recap our top story, Governor Abbott today issued an executive order mandating the use of face coverings in public spaces. Repeat offenders could face a $250 fine, and it applies to counties where there have been more than 20 confirmed cases of coronavirus and does not apply when people are in places where they're eating or drinking. Uh, this comes as Texas reports another day in which nearly 8,000 people tested positive. And the governor has agreed to talk with us once again about all of this. He joins us live once again from Austin. And governor, I must tell you, I wouldn't trade jobs with you for anything. This was a tough call. <laughs> uh, and I suspect some will view this new mask order as an intrusion on their personal liberty. But how would you respond to those who say, hey, the horses left this barn and, and run down the road, that this should have been done much earlier? So you articulated well, how I get it from both sides. Uh, and as a result, listen, I, I completely understand with those who do not want to have to wear a face mask, who, f who feel like this is an infringement, because I feel that way too and understand this. I would not make such a tough decision if I did not view it as absolutely necessary for the public health emergency that we are in right now. Understand this easy math. Ten days ago in Nueces County, you had 36 people test positive. Today, you have 10 times that amount, more yep. than 360. We're seeing explosions like that across the entire state of Texas. And the last thing I want to do as governor is to shut Texas back down. So I wanted to take a step that would allow us to remain open, but also allow us to contain that spread of COVID-19. And that strategy was the one uh, that all doctors say is the best strategy. And yeah. that is for everybody to wear a face mask. If you wear a face mask, and if others do also, we can keep businesses open while reducing the spread of COVID-19. Uh, Governor, let me just correct one thing. You said it was 360 today. That was actually yesterday. We were at 362. We've actually gone down 100 to 262, uh, but still an alarming number. And Nueces County happens to be, as you may know, um, it has the dubious honor of being the, the uh, number one county in terms of the infection rate per capita, per capita. And that includes uh, all the major cities, Houston, you know, San Antonio, Austin, whatever. And the experts here say that it's because of people coming down to our beaches that they've been cooped up all this time. They, it's an easy drive down to Corpus Christi. They come to the beach and spread the virus that way. What can you do? What can your office do to help us cope? The, the, candidly, the, the main thing that I could do, so please understand the context of this. I've been thinking all day, every day, and working with uh, advisors and experts all day, every day, to answer the exact question that you asked. What can I do to help not only New Oasis County, but Harris County and other counties across the state? The thing that we can do to make sure we protect Nueces County and slow the spread of the coronavirus there as well as elsewhere is for people to follow this new order that was issued today. You can come down and enjoy the beach if you wear a face mask and not contract COVID-19 and not give it to anybody else. Another thing that we need to realize and that is that there is a lot of people in the state of Texas who have COVID-19 but do not know about it. It's called right. asymptomatic or people having it but not having symptoms. So you'll have people who are going out on the beach who think they're perfectly fine and don't have COVID-19, but they do and they're giving it to others. And that's exactly why uh, we're working to contain it and requiring the masks. We can wear masks, we can go to the beach, we can have fun, we can go to work, all while containing the coronavirus. Yep, and uh, of course, m most of our beaches are closed for the uh, 4th of July holiday. I'm sure you're aware of that too. but. In general, yes, I, I think uh, I think that's correct. Now, uh, you know, we have uh, also seen here in the West's County um, a lack of testing supplies, and this was, you know, two weeks ago when the numbers were alarming, but not nowhere near what they are now. We knew that we had a, a, a lack of supplies, and now a couple of weeks <coughs> later, when the numbers have, uh, have nearly tripled, we still have to turn away people because we don't have enough testing supplies and they've asked the state for help. Shouldn't the state be channeling more supplies to us in view of the fact that we have seen so much of an increase here? Sure, first I will tell you that the person in charge of that operation, uh, he's the chief of the Texas Division of Emergency Management and he's working to accomplish exactly what you're talking about, but your viewers need to know the context of this. And that is, if you recall, 
Uh, I set a goal when we opened up Texas uh, to test uh, on average about 30,000 people a day, which was a stretch at that particular time. Uh, now we're testing well over 40,000 people today. In fact, today we tested more than 50,000 people. And so uh, we're testing more in Nueces County as well as in other counties. And uh, our goal is to do what I call surge testing in areas like Nueces County so that we will get more people tested and get more people treatment. Okay, one, one last thing, Governor, and if I could have just a brief answer. You know, the Lieutenant Governor, Dan Patrick, it was on, I think, on Fox News, and he made a statement that made headlines about uh, he, he didn't think uh, that he needed to listen to Dr. Fauci, who, of course, is the nation's top infectious disease expert, said uh, Texas didn't skip any of the checkpoints, didn't skip any of the precautions. Is that message the one that we want to display nationally, you think? So real quick, and that is what governors do, we have a weekly conference call uh, with Dr. Burks, who is the White House coronavirus doctor expert. And then separate from that, I visit with her privately. And uh, I ran uh, my statewide open up plan by her, got her advice. She said it was a great plan. I was with her as well as with the vice president in Dallas uh, this past Sunday, once again, talking uh, about uh, our plan. And she said, Texas has a, a smart coronavirus response. And so uh, it's Dr. Burks uh, that the governors work with directly uh, on a week-to-week -week basis, and that is the doctor that we interact with, and we have a great relationship. All right, Governor, for sake of time, I've got to wrap things up, but again, we appreciate you taking the time to join us, and hope we can do it again soon. Always a pleasure. Have a great 4th of July. And you too, Governor. Thank you.